All right, so everything looks good now. All right, so here, we're here. How long have you guys been in business? You started about a year uh, and a half ago? Yeah, less than a year and a half. Okay, so you could see my screen and you can see my mouse moving around now? I can, yeah. Is there any way to make it bigger? If I have what? Can you make it a little bit larger? It, on the right corner of your screen, there should be arrow going this uh, diagonally. Just click on that. It should maximize it on the top right corner. Oh, I see it. Awesome. All right, we're, we're golden now. Okay, so the first thing, I, I'm logged in as you. The first thing I saw, the tasks uh, are at 89. Um, who, who's in charge of calling these tasks? Hell, nobody. All right, so <laughs> these are really important. First. The, the only reason yeah, that's, really, that's our first that's our first problem let me go ahead and tell you what has kind of happened here sure, uh, sure we we had and you probably dealt you probably talked to her some her name was michelle sure um and she was with us for um for a long while um and it got to be where it was not advantageous to have her any longer uh due to a due to multiple reasons however she did have a pretty good gym um management background experience but sure. um due to other issues it just it was better to bypass that experience and uh do it ourselves well we'll, we'll just uh, say during this podcast we'll just say you guys had business differences i don't want to i don't want to say uh, bad about anybody or anything like that oh absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. It, was, <laughs> okay. it was just one of those deals so basically when when she left i mean she just said, "Go up with it." And so you've got you've got three owners, um, me being one. That you know, I, I was the one who said, "Hey guys, I'll go into this venture with you. I don't want to run a gym, um, but um, I'm the only one that seems to have any type of business sense. So I'm the one who's now picking it up, going, "All right, we need to figure out what's going on." So she's been gone for about. She left the first part of uh, September, and so now I'm just trying to pick up um, where where she left it off, okay. um, among other things. So I really have no idea about the Gym Insight system other than when I talked the other day. The, um, I think it was, was it Dan? Do you have a Dan? Sure. Yep, Dan, um, absolutely. Um, yeah, I talked with talk him for a while. He helped me get logged on. We talked about the task. Um, at that point, um, and then I've just been trying to maintain some of the day-to-day -day stuff in there just to make sure that things are happening. But um, I know there's there's more to it than uh, what we're doing, and we need to get a heck of a lot more out of it than what we're getting. Okay, well, let me uh, just go over. Uh, so, so you know, I've been running gyms for about almost 15 years now, and I've had 3,000 square foot clubs and helped them get up to about $40,000 in dues. So what I'll do today is I'm just going to keep it really easy. I'm going to go through everything I see and just give you like brief consulting or just a couple ways that you can improve your business and make money. Um, and, uh, you know, that's all that this is really going to do. I'm just going to go over your location performance and see what areas you need to fix. There's probably going to be a bunch of areas that need to be fixed, but we're only going to focus on one or two. So this way, like I said, you guys could drive at those things and really see a difference within a month's time. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. All right. So the first thing that I, I went to, I wanted your task, and let me explain why these are so important. You could see my screen, right? Yep. Okay, so all these accounts, all right, I can tell you right now one thing which was a no-no that needs to be turned around uh, with the new regime that's running the gym is that you guys need to really start gunning towards month-to-month -to -month memberships. Um, we could see 80% of these things are all prepaids. And so what our program does is it lets you know when a prepay is about to expire so this way you could get some money from these people because I could guarantee you more than half of these people probably aren't even using the gym and once this account expires that's it you're probably never going to hear from those people so what our program does is besides telling you people that are declined uh, besides it letting you know like this is an important one to call up this guy saying that his credit cards expiring if you were to call them in time, you all, all it would have been a call was updating the credit card information. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Uh, I just need to update your credit card information. You absolutely owe no money yet today, and it's not a, it's not a, um, 
you know, debt call. Right. It's not or it's not a debt call where they owe money, which we all know that's very hard to do. It's just an updating yeah. of information phone call. So that's why it's really important to look at the tasks and what's in there because now it's his credit card's expired and now his next payment is going to decline. And now that phone call is going to be, hey, Matt, probably a member that doesn't use the gym it now owes money. And now he's thinking to himself, well, I haven't been to the gym in six months. I don't care. I'm not going to answer that phone call, you know, where now it's just like, hey, Matt, you need to update some information. It's just a lot easier. So that's, yeah. these are important really what to do. Um, and to do them are really simple. You just click complete. Um, on here it says action taken. Did you make a phone call, email, text message, whatever. Uh, resolution, did you get a, um, a full payment or whatever it was that you're doing. Notes, updated credit card. So let's say I called this person and we need to update his payment. I would just click view account and then go to payment information and then update his payment method. That's it. Um, that's, that's pretty much all you have to do uh, to update a, a payment method. So number one thing that I would say is start designating who – do you have somebody in there, like a front desk or a manager, that you could designate for tasks? Yeah, I do. Okay, so what you want to do is you don't want to go to that person and go, hey, do all 90 tasks because it's too much. Eventually, what's going to start happening if you tell them to do that is they're going to go like this. Complete. Yeah. They're going to put left message. They're going to put called, left message, and not even really call the person. Um, yeah. So – you know, you don't want that. So you only want to designate, you want to break it down to the ridiculous. You want to do, what's the person's name that, that's going to be doing that? It would be Kevin. So, I mean, I'm thinking, you know, hey, do 10 of these a day or something like that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you, even, even more, you want to break it down to the hour, okay? You say, hey, I need you to focus on five tasks an hour. A phone call takes about 30 seconds. If you get a credit card number, maybe two minutes. Do you think you could call five people an hour or sit him down, ask him, get a commitment from him. So this way he has to do it and say, hey, we need to hit these tasks. They're they're killing us as a gym. And this is the reason why. Look at all these prepaid accounts that are expiring. These are all members that are going bye bye. We need to contact these person, these people and ask them if they would like to renew or offer them an, uh, a, another year upgrade. So like this person, Summer Fricks, you know, I can say, hey, Summer, how's it going? If I go to her membership. Let's go to her membership, right? I want to see how many times she's used the club. Up, oh, she's already she's already canceled out. But let's see how many times she used the club. This is a good person to call. She's been using the club up to uh, October, and she's been using the club. So I could call this person, and I can say, let's see how much she paid to sign up. So she paid twenty five. Looks like she paid two months in advance for fifty dollars. So you call her up and say, hey, I just want to know if you'd like to renew your account for thirty dollars for two months or whatever the case may be. Or maybe I could set you up on a month to month membership for nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine times twelve is a lot more than just, you know, setting up a one month prepaid or whatnot. Um, yeah, you really good. you really and it doesn't matter. It's free money. You know, these are this is somebody that's gone. They're they're done. It's expiring in seven days. They're they're out of there. Um, so even 1999, you know, is better than nothing in my, in my book. Uh, if we go sure. to, if we go to, and I'll show you why, if we go to your reports and go to financials, this is a report. So if you go to your, the home button, you click on reports, you click on location performance, we're going to really dial in and get to see the health of your club. So we could see that your club should be making money hand over fist. You have 748 people and we're only making $4,000 in dues. Most clubs put that up a month in membership sales, you know? So we really need to turn this around and we need to make most of these uh, members turn to month to month. So I'll come up, I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on, but first I wanna go over this report. So it looks like you're selling, so in July you sold 29 new memberships, August 44, September 28, October 29, and so far this month you sold four. Now, let's go to the bad side. We're going to look to how many people canceled. So in July, you sold 29. You canceled off 146. In August, you sold 44. You canceled off 86. So we're canceling off more than we're, we're signing up here. 
And right. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of these are also prepays that are coming to an end. And again, that's why it's so important to call those people in the task that are expiring or else you're going to get numbers like this where you signed up 30 people and you canceled 146, which is detrimental to a business. Crazy. The other yeah. thing. Which, uh, what, what actually kind of what happened in it was either June or July, um, you know, we were kind of rocking right along. Uh, and of course, I hear summer's kind of slow anyway, but we had a brand new Planet Fitness open up a quarter of a mile down the road. Sure, sure. Um, so how I'm, long ago sure did that, that open? Where, say again? How long ago did that open? It was back in June or July. Okay, so when a, when a low budget gym like that opens up, it, it, if you dig your cleats into the ground, it takes about six months, and then you could start gaining ground again. It, it, a business like that only hurts for about the first six months. After that, sure. it's business as usual, as long as you could maintain the status quo. So the other thing that we want to go over is I guarantee you most of these numbers are from prepaids that are expiring. Now, a lot of people will say to me and say, Anthony, you know what? People, when they come to sign up, they say they want to pay cash. They don't want to put a credit card on file. Well, of course, nobody wants to do that. If you give me the option, I'll never give you my credit card if I don't have to, right? Especially if I know in the yeah. back of my head that I'm probably not going to use the gym, why would I do that? So you pretty much have to lay out ultimatums when signing up. You have to have a couple different types of memberships. You have a month-to-month -month membership. Do you, do you guys sell contracts as well or just month-to-month -month and prepaids? Month to month and prepaid. Okay, perfect. So you want to have a couple different types of memberships. You have a month-to-month -month membership. You could have a one year prepay if you want, and then you have a one month prepaid. Okay. The one month prepay is for the people that say, well, I'm not giving you my credit card. Uh, okay, fine. If you don't want to give your credit card, then you have to buy a one month membership. The problem with that is, is the one month membership, you want to double the price of the month to month. So if, how much do you charge for your month to month membership right now? 25. The one month prepay should, oh. be, should be nowhere close to that price. It should be about $55. So, okay. so this way they go, well, why is it $55? Well, it's a one month limited term membership. At the end of the month, the membership cancels. And if you ever want to sign back up, we have to go through the membership uh, process again. That's why we give such a discount for people that want to go month to month. You're not locked into a contract. You cancel any time. You can still pay with cash every single month, but we need a credit card on file as backup. If you're okay with giving us a credit card on file as backup and you still wanting to pay cash, then absolutely you get the savings of the $25 a month. Otherwise, if you don't want to put a credit card on file, you need to buy a one month limited term membership, which is $55. At the end of the month, membership goes bye bye, and that's it. Because you guys have an RFID 24 hour access system, right? That's right. So that's absolutely, you have within all of your rights to sell a one month premium at $55. Because you could say, well, we give you a key. At the end of the month, that key dies. And if you want to come back and sign back up, we have to give you a new key. So yes, it's $55. Whereas the month to month memberships, we give you a key and we charge you, we, uh, you get charged every single month. You're not locked into a contract. You cancel at any time, but you have to tell us if you want to cancel and you have to have a method of payment as a backup in case you don't come in and pay with cash. That's it. And that will solve all of your problems. And we will see this number right here. I, I would make a prediction in saying this number should at least quadruple by the year's end. It should double within six months. And within a couple of months, we should get this up to about eight or $9,000. Now, that being said, that's fine. We, we need to go into sales because I, when I talked to the previous person that helped run the club, her sales wasn't the best. It was basically, if somebody came to the front desk, we sell a membership to the front desk. That, you need to like stop that immediately. No, no giving out prices at the front desk. Front desk people, if, if someone asks for a price, either you have to get a salesperson or that person has to go buy a desk, sit them down. If you give a price at the front desk while the person's standing, it's too easy for them to turn around saying, thank you, I'll see you later. Uh, statistics show if so, anyone that walks through your door, it's, took, it's probably take that person about six months to get the courage to walk through the gym. And they'll look for any excuse to leave. So you don't want to make it super easy for them just to get what they're looking for. If they just want price and that's all they're going to get, you know, your, your chances of selling that membership is, is so reduced. What you want to do is make them remember why they walk through the door. So, and when you sit down and they ask for price, that doesn't mean, okay, give me price. It, that, that means to me, okay, let's sit this person down and go over what they want to do and the goals they want to achieve in the gym and really hit 
on, on their nerve of what they want to do to change themselves. So this way, that price in that, that's going in their head sort of fades away. But now we're, we're sort of going to go, okay, we're going to help you get to your goals. We're going to, that vision of yourself, of how you want to look, will help you get there. And once the person believes that, you know, that could be done at your location, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be the cheapest gym. They'll spend the extra money. That's why all these infomercials with shake weights and whatever diets, P90Xs are so popular. They're people, they believe that these things are going to work for them. So if you have that person to believe that your club is going to work for them, you don't have to have a nine ninety nine price tag. You could do a twenty five dollar price tag, but you can't. You can't have that done at just at the front desk. You have to sit them down and ask them, "Hey, hey, um, Joel, what do you want to do? You want to lose weight, gain weight? Oh, I want to lose weight. Great, write it down. How much are you trying to lose? Uh, twenty pounds. Awesome. What three main body parts would you like to change in yourself the most? Uh, my legs, my arms, my back. The reason why I asked Joel is because I'm going to give you a tour of the facility and I'm going to go over those main machines that where your prime interests are at. Um, so this way, now you're giving them a tour. It's like a test driving a car before you buy it. Yeah. You give them the tour. If the person says they want to get their arms back and legs in shape, guess what? On the tour, I'm going to put them on those machines, let them feel the range of motion of those machines, making them paint that picture in their head that they're going to get to the way they want to look at your club. The other thing you want to do is introduce them to somebody on the floor. If you know somebody that's working on the floor, number one thing to do is to introduce them. I see Joe, that's a member. Hey, Joe, how's it going? This is Mike. He's going to sign up today. Um, do you remember when you first signed up, what was the biggest thing that you, uh, what's a, what would be the biggest thing that you like about this gym? Oh, it's never busy. It's always clean. Joel's a great guy. You're going to love it here. It just cements the fact of the sale, you know? 10 times more than just telling them a price at the front desk. You don't want to price sell. It's called value selling. If you just, if you try yeah. to price, so the, if you try to price sell, Planet Fitness is going to win every other, every single time. Because when the person comes to the gym, that's the first thing that's going around and around like a broken record in their head is Planet Fitness is 999. Planet Fitness is 999. Planet Fitness is 999. So as soon as you tell them $25, they do an about face and walk out the door. That's why it's so important that you guys have to value sell because you guys are a little bit more money and you show them why it's worth more than $9.99. If you don't do that, you're not going to get a lot of memberships. And that's why you're looking at, you know, 30 memberships uh, for the month when you should really be have about like 90 um, or 75. And the other thing, so now that we got the new accounts figured out, and if you want later on, if you want me to go over sales training with some of your staff on a WebEx, I can do that with you as well. You really got to break the habit of giving the price to the front desk. You have to do tours, number one. Even if you don't do a tour right, do a tour. Um, and you, you will see just by changing that, I guarantee you this 30, uh, 29 uh, new accounts would have been at 50. You would have got that many more people that walked out that you didn't get to see. If a person leaves, most likely they're not coming back. You have to get that ingrained in everybody that works at the club. So now that we have the new account set up and how to increase that, you want to go and we have to focus on the other half because let's say we got this to 60. All right, that's, that's awesome. We doubled our uh, signups, but we're still losing more than what we're signing up. So what do we do? How do we deal with these cancellations? Number one, front desk. Is there always a manager at the club? Um, for the most part, yes. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to make up sheets that say cancellation request form. It has member name, member number, and their signature on the bottom. And you don't want to let the front desk do cancels. You could let them fill out a cancellation request form, but the person has to speak to a manager. Typically, the manager is the best at sales, they're the best at talking to people. When somebody comes in to cancel, they're the best at, at talking them out of it. Um, whereas a front desk will say, oh, you're canceling? Okay, let me do that for you. And they don't care. Um, yeah. or, or they might, or you might say, uh, what's the reason? They don't do a handler or cancellation request. When you handle a cancellation... Yeah, What's that? I would, be, I would be feeling the bet. Ninety-five percent of all of our cancellations are prepaid. To just what that just leaves. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And because uh, we we rarely have anybody come and cancel, um, but uh, I think majority of them are. Uh, you know, they bought two months and they never showed back up. Um, they bought a, a six-month package and never showed back up, and nobody ever called them and said, "Hey." Would you do it for cheaper or, you know, get something out of it? Absolutely. That's the first thing. So the, what I would do is, 
uh, to Ted, I would say, okay, this is going to be the script that we're going to tell people. We're going to tell people you're the promotional manager, right? So I would call up this person, Noah, and say, hey, Noah, how's it going? This is Anthony from Extreme Fitness. Uh, I'm, from, I'm the promotional manager. I see that you have a prepaid membership that's expiring in seven days, and we have a special membership just for people like yourself. You have to, it's no money. All we're doing is basically just converting you over to a month-to-month -month membership. No contract, cancel any time for only $19.99 if you would like to go ahead and do that today. And if this person wanted to do that, let me show you how easy that would be. If they say, yeah, that sounds great. All I have to do is put in the payment form of their monthly payment, go to their membership and just change it to open end, click update and you're done. Now this person's a month to month person for under th in under 30 seconds. Okay. So it's really easy to do that. So you really want to make a script and say, hey, how's it going? This is uh, Ted from Extreme Fitness. I'm the promotions department. I saw you have a membership that's about to expire. And we actually have a brand new promotion going on where it allows members like yourself to, to belong for only $19.99 a month uh, if you would like to sign up before you expire. As you know, a normal month-to-month membership is so normally $25. Um, if you would like to get in uh, now, before you expire, it's only $19.99 a month, month to month, for as long as you want to have your membership. It's a membership we don't even sell to anybody that comes into the gym. And I guarantee you, out of, you know, all these prepaids, you're going to get at least 10 of them. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, even if you want to negotiate with the people and say, what do you think is fair? What would, you, what would it take for you to be a month to month membership? And they say $15, right? Who cares? Free money. Yeah. This person's expiring. The bottom, the, the key is we need to get this, this number right here that we had from, we need that to say as close to $8,000 as possible. We don't want this saying $4,000 of dues. We want this number going up. So hopefully by yeah. the end of the year, you know, this, is, this will be at about 12 grand. So that means if you don't sell anything all month, you know, the, the gym still makes $12,000 because if, if you don't get this number up, you know, if you have a dead month, you're putting money into the gym to keep it open and the gym's not making yeah. any money, which is something we don't want to do. This. Can you go back to, I guess you can, you can go back to, can you hit January to June? Yeah, absolutely. So let's see what it looked like. January, let's see. So... Do January 2016. We'll do March. Okay, so January we had wow. So we had money here. It looks like in March you had about seven thousand dollars in monthly dues. And, and that's that's monthly dues. That's not. That's you know I that's, guess that's recurring. Auto that's, draft dues. Yes, that's recurring. That has nothing to do with new memberships. This is just the number that okay, recurs every okay. month. So, okay. you know, that's, the, yeah, you want this number to be up. So it looks like you guys had it up, but I could tell you what the demise was. The demise was it looked like, you know, selling prepaids. Prepaids will kill any gym. I've seen more gyms close because of prepaids alone than anything else. You know, you could kill it on prepaids. Everyone's, you know, high-fiving each other, and then you hit three dead months. You're done. Because now your dues are in the water at four grand, and now you got to remember, you thought the summer months were slow? Let me tell you, November and December are the worst in any gym because people have given up with, um, with sign-ups. As soon as Thanksgiving hits, everyone eats Thanksgiving dinner. They're like, ah, I'll start again in January, right? Yeah. So you have to be proactive because we know this November is going to be a dead month. December is going to be even deader because people are going to procrastinate till January. So what you need yeah. to do, you have to make up for that. We have to make up. How do we do that? Well, luckily for you guys, you have a whole list of people right here that can be called up. Um, so not just the, the prepaids. These people, see these people right here that are called to link one account in 10 days? If you don't call these people, I guarantee you, they're not going to set themselves back up because they're probably not using the gym and you're going to lose. These are all people that you're going to lose. Okay. So the other way of making money, if you go to your accounts at the top and we click your member list. All right. So we call, let's say the Ted did his job. He called everybody in the tasks. The door is still not swinging because we know November, December is a dead month. What else can we do to make money? So we click on our member list. 
We're gonna uncheck the green, yellow. We're only gonna show everybody that's canceled off and we're gonna show everybody that was a prepaid and month to month that has been canceled. So we click update and we look here. You have a, you have a thousand people to call. This is, this is good news for you. This is, all up, this is all upside for you guys. You have a thousand people to call and make offers of whatever to set up a month to month membership. Okay. So, I mean, that's, this is amazing. This is, if, the, if the gym is dead, the door's not swinging, your manager better but not be on his cell phone on Facebook, may not be talking to the girls on the treadmill, do work that, if they're not doing something that's gonna make the gym money, then that manager's hurting you as a business. And yeah. I, I would strongly suggest hiring somebody that's gonna be hungry. Um, and I know you can't, you, you're not making that much money, how do we pay people? Well, there's a couple of ways how you could pay commission on uh, memberships. You could charge first and last month's dues and give 80% of the last month's dues or 100% of the last month's dues. So this way you're not coming out of pocket paying the salesperson. The salesperson is 10 times more happy to make a sale. At, when they get off work, they're going to tell people on Facebook or whoever to sign up at the club because they know they're going to keep the last month's dues. It, 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 it makes the club... Sales is what drives the club, no matter which one you go to. I don't care who it is. It's not customer service. Yes, customer service needs to be good. Cleanliness needs to be good. Sales is the heart of a gym that, where, that makes money. You need to be doing stuff like this and being proactive and calling people and setting up uh, appointments for them to come to the gym. So that, this is another way that I would urge you, besides doing your tasks, that's number one. Number two is going to your accounts, click on your member list, uncheck everybody but canceled, and setting up at least even 25 phone calls a day or 10 phone calls an hour if the door isn't swinging. If, if it's not busy and your manager has nothing to do anyway, I would make this a priority to at least make him do five phone calls uh, a day for, for canceled members. Yeah. You know, another way that you may want to incentivize the manager is that make his interests align with yours. So if you want to show him the location performance and, and say, look, this is pitiful, man, $4,000 a month, that's what we should be adding every month in dues. That's where we're at. So you could actually, you could, you could either commission on membership sales or you could commission on a percentage of what you increase in monthly dues here. So let's say you guys go to $6,000. You could say, okay, look, if we reach $6,000 by the end of the month, you will get a 25% bonus of what we increased or whatever the case may be. So this way he's yeah. more interested in, you know, he's way more interested in, in, in putting up those monthly dues. He's not going to want to sell prepays. And the other nice thing that this is going to do, it'll make them way more interested in cancellations because they know a cancel is going to affect this bottom number right here, right? Which he's yeah. going to get bonused at, at whatever it is. So let's say you go, well, it's only worth it for me to pay a bonus at 5,500. You say, okay, good. If you, if you do a bonus, if we hit 5,500, you get a 25% bonus of our EFT growth. If you hit 6,000, you get a 40%. If we hit 7,000, I'll give you 50% of whatever EFT we added. Um, yeah. you know, and, and this way you, you pay off that bonus once and you're going to reap the benefits month after month after month after that. Yeah. So it, it, it works in your favor. And like I said, it makes his interest align with yours as an owner because now he only cares about this bottom number of EFT growth. And now he's going to cancel about these cancellations. And you're going to start seeing just from doing that, you're going to start seeing these member lengths go up and up and up and up and up. Because now if he's directly responsible for talking people out of cancellations, your members are going to stay with you a lot longer, which is, looks like you guys have been doing a decent job at that. Six months, nine months, 11 months. Great. So in, in, to make a long story short, you want to really limit your prepaids. And that's the number one thing you guys want to do. Uh, yeah. get, with, get with your staff. Tell them that there's going to be a change in membership sales. If somebody wants to sign up month to month, they have to have a credit card on file. If they don't want to give you a credit card, we have a one month membership of 55 bucks. One month. We don't do two months. We don't do three months. If you want to buy two months, it's 110. If you want to buy one month, it's 55. And that person will then go, okay, fine. Here's my credit card, you know, because they don't want to pay double every single month. Um, 
they know it's just a matter of them being lazy and them knowing that they're not going to use the club. That's why they don't want to give up their card. So that, that would be my first order to focus on. Round up the troop, tell everybody this is what we're doing as far as membership sales. Um, you know, give, you know, micromanage these tasks out. Like I said, you have 89 in here. Tell him he has to do 25 an hour. You know, yeah. so I need you to make five phone calls an hour. Or like I said before, sit him down and say, how many phone calls an hour do you think you can make? And if he says something uh, crazy, like 20, be like, no, no, no. I want, I want a number that I could come back and I, you could show me that you made these phone calls. I don't want you to tell me a number that I want to hear and you put left message on everything. I want a number that you actually made a phone call and talked to people. Do you think five, six, fine. And whatever he says, get out a piece of paper, make him sign it. Say, I will make seven phone calls an hour. Have his signature on it, you know. Yeah. And then if, if you want to go back, we could even go back and see if he's been making his phone calls. If we go to reports and we go to uh, accounts, this report right here, account notes, this is going to show you everything that went on in the gym. So if he made phone calls, it would be showing up here. So we could see right here. And this is also going to help you see if people are stealing from you. So like, let's say if people are giving... Uh, uh, let's say that someone gives the front desk a hundred bucks for two months of the gym, right? Well, okay. how do you know that? How do you know that front desk kid's not pocketing it and changing the monthly dues? Well, this report just caught somebody. Kevin Greenlee changed the date from eleven eight to two thousand sixteen. Well, let's click on the name and make sure he paid. He paid with a visa, but there's no charge in Gym Insight. So, do you have a credit card machine in the office? Yeah, we do. Okay, so that's so okay. So he probably he I see. All right. So on 11/3 he paid his dues. But see, look at the look at this guy right here. Prepaid last year. Okay. Yeah, this guy's a pre he's never going to give you his credit card number. He's paying $20 a month for a prepaid. Why would I change why would I give you my credit card information? And you can see what's happening here. He comes in 3/4, missed the fifth month, 6. You missed a month of dues there. Missed a month of dues there. So we could see by somebody signing up without a credit card information on file that you're missing dues here from your members. Okay. And even though you might say, okay, well, that's not a big deal. It is a big deal because you have 700 members. If you had, you know, let's say half of those people, if you had 300 people times 20, that's $6,000 you're missing. Yeah. You know? So you really want to, I, I would actually make phone calls for these people and say, hey, if you um, would like to go on a month-to-month -month membership, the only thing you could offer this guy, I don't even know, he's already paying 20 bucks. Number one, if this guy comes in to update his next month, tell him it's 50. It's no longer 20. A one-month membership is not $20 anymore. It's 50 bucks. If you want to be at $20, you have to put your credit card on file. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's how it's going to go here, you know. Uh, you know, it, we, that's, that's how we have to, if you like this gym and you like to work out, this is what we have to do. Or, you know, blame it on us. Blame it on your billing company. Say, I'm sorry, our new billing company requires us to have a credit card on file uh, if you want to go month to month. Otherwise, our one month prepay is now $55 due to the cost of the key. We can't reuse keys anymore. Whatever excuse you got to make doesn't matter. The mat, the, the end, the, your end goal is to get that four thousand dollars up as high as possible. So this way, you're making money, and so are the two other owners. Okay. So you know. I don't know if you know this or not. We're not making anything. I I see <laughs> that. I saw that. I, 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 you're putting I'm money the in. The first one to tell you, uh, my. I mean, this was. This wasn't my. This wasn't my brainchild. This was. Uh, I, I was third man in to this grand scheme, and uh, you know, it is what it is. But uh, you know, I also know that uh, we can make this thing happen. We can make it work. I mean, there's a Have you, there's tons of potential there. Well, did you listen to the other podcast that I sent you? That that there was a, exactly the same thing. It was a, three owners in California. And their monthly dues were at $6,000 when I first did this. And I basically just, this is pretty much the same thing that I told them. And within a month's time, they, they did a 180-degree turnaround. You know, yeah. they changed everything. They got rid of the, 
they had like this old lady that was running the gym that was just nice to everybody and let them members do whatever they wanted. As soon as they sure, got yeah. rid of her and they implemented just the basic things that I'm telling you, all of a sudden now they're making money. And was, was the ahead. gym is that their full time position, full time job? Yeah, that's their. Uh, well, there, it's just three owners that came. I don't know if they have other jobs as well. A lot of people when they when there's multiple owners like that, they have other jobs. But um, yeah. it doesn't matter. You don't the end. You never want to put money into a gym to keep it open. You want to make money from it. You know, so it and it's very simple to do that. Um, if I if if you guys were to hire me and come in and say, Anthony, get these dues at ten grand. Um, we have two months to do it. I would be able to do that in two months. The first thing that I would do for one month, and you might want to do this in December. If you sign up for a month-to-month membership, you could sign up for a buck, a dollar, get you a month-to-month membership. And uh-huh. the reason why it's a dollar, num- or well, actually you guys buy keys, what is it, $3.10, we sell the keys. So say you want to sign up for five bucks. Five dollars gets you in on month-to-month membership, cancel any time you want. Um, yeah, you might have very few scammers that try to just do it for the month, but they can't do that. If you have a 30-day notice, two days after you sign up and they cancel, they're going to have another bill anyway. So sign, yeah. up for fi- sign up for $5. December's a horrible month anyway. It's cheaper than Planet Fitness. You're going to increase your dues exponentially. And, you know, you, you, we have fi- a dollar amount to t- test the credit card to make sure it works. So $5 isn't just for paying the key. It's to test the credit card that they give you to make sure it works. So sign up all month for $5, month to month, Decide on a month-to-month membership, whether it's twenty dollars or twenty-five, whatever you pick. And so the first month is five dollars. Every single month after that's twenty-five. And I guarantee you, eighty percent of those people are going to keep the membership. Yes, you'll have some people that will cancel within the second month. Who cares? You're, that that four thousand dollars will probably double if you do a promotion like that. Okay. You'll probably even steal people away from the Planet Fitness gym if you're only five dollars to start, because they're not even five dollars to start. Right. You know, and yes, you might lose a little bit of money that month because you're not making as much as far as prepaid memberships or whatever. But the second month, you're going to start making money and just keep on, you know, get that snowball effect of that EFT growing every single month. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I would do for the month. We know December is going to stink really bad, you know, because everybody's waiting to January 1st. There's not too many people that buy memberships as birthday, uh, Christmas presents. So, right. you know, as far as that, you want to promote the hell out of that $5 sign up. Even, you know, when, he, when Ted makes those phone calls, he could actually make those phone calls to the people that are all canceled. And he has, he has you have a, a list of a thousand people that you can call up and say, hey, Jay, how's it going? This is uh, Ted from Extreme Fitness. I just want to let you know, um, you're, we see that you used to be a member. For the month of December, if you'd like to get started, we have a promotion going on where you can get started for $5. Not on a contract, totally month to month, includes the cost of the key in the first month. Every single month after that, $19.99. Um, if you like, I can actually start, you could actually click on one of these people's names and get them started if they even want to do it over the phone. Um, but at least yeah. mark, market towards all these people, even if they don't uh, make a membership over the phone, at least you called all these people and told them, come in December, it's only $5 a month. Some of these people are going to show up. You know, right. we, we know you can't rely on the door for these next couple months. So you have to do things to be proactive. I don't know, maybe you can have an A team, B team or whatever. The people that sign up the most membership gets, I don't know, a pair of headphones or something from Best Buy. Who, who knows? But you could have an internal... Uh, you know, game going on or a bonus where you have everyone's name, how many people they signed up, and the person that they wins with the most sign up wins. I don't, I, something like that. Okay. All right, that works. Now, but that, are, go you, ahead. are you familiar with, um, let me ask you this, are you familiar with like the text marketing? Like I see all these cell phones that are sitting right here, all these cell phone numbers that individuals have given us. We have, we have done it in the past where we have um, a marketing team here in the local area that does um, text, like a text blast of like an ad. You know, sure. like, hey, you know, $5 sign up for December. So you hit all of them immediately instead of having the, 
five a day, and then all of a sudden five a day isn't getting done, and, and then that was December. Just um, be careful with that because if you don't have it on a contract or whatever that they give permission for you to text them, uh, you can might be getting some legal issues. When we know all gotcha. every every single gym has a wannabe lawyer, you know, and it's not a matter of if you get sued; it's only a matter of when. You know, at, over the 15, past fifteen years, we've had the most ridiculous things done to us, where they just want to extort money and make money because they see you're sure. a business. Um, so just be careful with that. If you're going to go to a texting company that does that, make sure that it's under them that they're going to get in trouble if they text anybody, if they say that they could do it legally. That, that's all I would say for that. But otherwise, if you want to do that, yes, promote to everybody that is not a member. The reason why you don't want to promote to everybody that is a member is because you're going to get even more cancels. So, for example, I remember we're integrated with MailChimp, and we, I basically wanted to make more money on the dead periods uh, when the door wasn't swinging, people were coming in. So what happened was I was like, well, I'm going to send an email to all of my members and say, hey, because the, the weekends for us were really dead. Nobody was coming in, no memberships. So I wanted to send an email to all of our members and say, hey, uh, on Saturdays and Sundays, we have family add-on specials and personal training specials. Sent it out to about 800 people, right? I probably okay. got 100 emails back from people that were paying us, weren't using the club, and said, hey, Anthony, hope everything's well over at the gym. I'm not using the club. Just go ahead and cancel my membership. Lost about $5,000 in EFT that month just from an email blast because, you know, these you, you don't want to remind people that are paying you that, that aren't using the club. So I think that's right. a great idea to text people that aren't members. Stay away from people that are members. You know? Gotcha. Okay. That makes perfect sense. So that's, that's what I would do. So you might want to write that down. Number one, do the tasks. These tasks are important. There's a lot of people in here that, that you've gotten to do month to month that they're going to decline. Like this guy is about to decline. This guy has already declined. These are all, if you don't set up these accounts, they're going to they're gonna be written off and you're going to lose members this way too. So the, there's a couple different things that before you even do promotions or anything, let's deal with people that are already in house. And once this is done, then you can go ahead and call those canceled members off. That's an easy way. Now, the other thing I wanted to go over real quick was as an owner, do you know how to, do you know how to catch people stealing within the program? Did, did, did Michelle ever show you that? No. Okay. Let me show you real quick. So you can catch employees if, if you do have any other stealing. You go to re, you go to reports, and you go to financial reports. Right? There's a report on mm -hmm. here called account adjustments. Now this report is going to show every single account that's been manipulated by either credits or debits uh, through whatever date range. So if you have somebody pocketing a hundred bucks and they're just forwarding the date or they're just giving a credit to an account, it's going to show up on this report. Uh, Jim Insight is a hundred. It's like impossible to steal from us. So let's go back and let's see if there's any, oh, I guess nobody's given. All right. I guess you guys are legit on there. Good. That's good. You don't have to worry about that. But the other thing that you want to uh, just focus on is after you make that deal with your manager about making phone calls, check the account report note, uh, the account notes report. Because again, this report shows everything that went on in your gym, everything from membership dues. So we could see this guy, you know, a sale was made. The guy changed the date. You know, if someone made a phone call, it would say Kevin made phone call. It would show up on here. I guess if he if he keyed that those notes in, correct? Um, it's not that he just keyed the note in. If you also if you do anything in the program, it's it's recorded. So okay. anytime your employee does anything, it's going to show up on this report. Okay. So if you want to like focus on an employee and watch what they're doing, just go to the account notes, look for their name, mm -hmm. and then you can see everything that they're doing in the club. Okay. And it'll say right here. So it really lets you get aggressive. And let's say you were suspicious about an employee from a couple months back. We could just go back from May and, and see, you know, and now it's going to show up. Whoops. Maybe it's just last month. Let's see. Oh, I got to change this to 930. 
Oh no, it changed it. Okay. So yeah, there we go. We're all the way from September 1st. So you were suspecting an employee stealing back in September. We just changed his date to September 1st and we could see everything that went on in the gym from that, from that time. Okay. But yeah, the, I mean, the good news is you have so much ways to make money with your club uh, because it was just, you know, poorly managed or you guys just pre prepaid the hell out of the members. You know, there's so many, you have so many people to market towards uh, to make money here. I would, yeah. I would love if, uh, if I had to turn around a gym, your gym would be the easiest because the first thing I would do, go to the tasks, market to the people of the canceled accounts, $5 signups for December. And I guarantee you, I'd get your monthly dues to about probably as close to ten thousand. You'd probably be about almost ten thousand bucks by the end of December. Okay. And you would just hit the. Um, obviously, you don't want to hit your current members. You would just hit the canceled ones. The, that that thousand that we said that were were gone. Yep, right here. So we uncheck green, uncheck yellow, uncheck red. We're just going to do everyone that's canceled, that was a prepaid and open end, and we're going to click update. And you have everybody here that's no longer, and you have 965 people to call. Canceled, prepaid, open end. Yep, right. canceled. Yep, right here. You just check canceled. You only want prepaids, and you want your open end right here. I mean, unless you guys sold contracts back, I mean, you could check that too. Yeah, you guys okay. never sold any. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, yep, and that's all. And I would call, look at all these people to call. This is like gold. People pay a lot of money for leads, and you have the best kind of leads right here. These are people that have been in your club before. So yeah. this is all about let's make a deal, whatever it's fair, you know, who cares? If I called this guy, Corey, and said, you know, you get you in 1999, but like, eh, you know, all right, let me ask you a question, Corey. What would, what would it take for you to become a member with us again? How much monthly? Uh, Ten bucks. All right. What credit card do you want to use? Visa, MasterCard, American Express. Yeah. yeah. And again, it's so easy to do that. All you have to do is click on the name, click payment info, put a payment method on file, right? Go to edit. Uh, it's already open end. Put in the new monthly payment amount, click update and update to green, uncancel account. Account is back in current. You, you just made an account current again from that was that was in the graveyard yeah yeah okay you know and i mean why would i and at first go why would i do it on phone well you know as well we we charge for a membership key anyone that wants to go ahead and do this over the phone today uh we can go ahead and waive that key fee if you would like to come in we have to make an appointment which works better for you the morning or afternoons uh afternoons great uh, who, uh, uh, what, at what time did you, did you think you might be coming in? Four or five o'clock? Uh, more four o'clock. Okay, good. I'll have you down, Misty. See you at four o'clock. Yep. yep. You, make it, you make it sound so easy because it truly is. You just got to do it. It is easy. It's just that it's a, yeah. the, the problem with the gym industry is that there's so many lazy people that don't want to do anything. They, they yep. just yep. rather sit at the front desk on Facebook or whatever and wait for oh, the yeah. door. You know, they wait for people to come through the front door. You know, I, I would never hire, you know, I, I would tell people, I used to tell people when I worked in the gym, you know, you have a weight problem. And they'd say, like, what do you mean? You can't tell me that. I'm like, yeah, you, you have a weight problem. You wait for people to walk through the front door. You don't make money anywhere else, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you make it, how many people, you have a, one manager at a time working in the gym or do you have multiple people at the same time? Um, it just depends on the time of the day, but, uh, the busiest time we have a couple people in there. Sure. Okay. Gotcha. I would then, you know what? The person that makes the most money gets to see the next person that walks through the door. You know, um, you know, make an ups list. I've worked at gyms where we had multiple people at, at working at the same time. And the person that actually made phone calls and made and sold more memberships, they were the first to see people that walk through the door than anyone else. And they, the only other time the, um, the second person would get to see somebody is if they missed. But, you know, it's just another thing to do. I would not let somebody that was lazy or, you know, because they're just going to bring your gym down. They're not, they're not in trouble if the gym doesn't make money to pay rent. They don't have to pay the power bill. They, all they do is just sit around and wait for their paycheck and, and cry and complain. 
You know, well, what are you doing to help the gym make money? You're not doing anything. You're not making phone calls. So why are you, why should I pay you? Why should, why should, why are you an employee here? You know, I, the best people that I ever had to work at the clubs that try that did really, really well uh, when I hired people weren't personal trainers, personal trainers, they thought they were entitled that they could just kick back and just, they should just make $50 an hour. Right. I, 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 I didn't get along well with those guys. So what I did was I went to people that were already not making a lot of money and working really hard and finding those people. So the person that was pushing carts at Walmart, the person that was stocking shelves that are making minimum wage already. And I'll give them my business card and say, Hey, I own a gym. Would you like to sit in some air conditioning and make triple the amount of money you're making now? Give me a call if you're interested for an interview. And you know, that's when I would call them. And they would, I would show them, say, look, if you want to make these phone calls, every single, every single person that you get on this phone call to, to become from canceled to uncanceled, I'm going to give you the first month's dues. So now there's more incentive for them to call these people because if they get somebody to become a member, they just made 20 bucks in two minutes. Yeah. yeah. To me, I don't care because I know I'm going to start making money every single month after that. These, this is almost free money to me as an owner, you know, so everyone's happy. I'm happy as an owner. I'm getting people that I wouldn't normally get anymore. My salesperson is over the moon happy. He just made $20, which normally would have took him, you know, two hours stocking shelves. Yeah. yeah. So and, right. and the other thing is they're loyal as hell. Once you once they see that you, you took them from that job and you're actually helping them make money, they will be the best soldier you have. If you give them a handful of flyers and tell them to go flyer a parking lot, they'll do it. You know, they'll be proud of the club yeah, that's, getting, yeah. that's paying their bills and making them more money at the end of the last job. That's right. Dang, okay. I've got some phenomenal ideas to get moving. There you go, man. I mean, that's, that, that's what I would tell you um, to start off with. You know, the easiest first. Tasks. You know, you know what to do. Focus on one thing a week on Monday. I know I gave you a couple things, but really focus on it. So on Monday, focus. This is what we're going to do. And don't give up on them because there's one thing you could count on while you're not at the gym. And that's that nobody's doing anything. I, when you're not there, trust me, nothing is getting done. So you have to really micromanage in this point, which stinks. But you have to say, this is what we're going to do on Monday. And at the end of the week, we're going to go over and see how well everybody did. And get commitments from people. And say, I need a commitment from you. Say, how many phone calls can you make per hour? And get that commitment from them. And then you, go, you could go into your reports and see if they did it. And if they didn't do it, be like, why didn't you get, tell me what you said you were going to do? You know? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's the first thing. After that, what I would say is after you did your $5 a month thing or, or whatever it is you're going to do in December, in a couple of months, I would prepare for even a, a re-grand opening, which means, you know, doesn't mean much. just means paint new, maybe new paint on the wall to make the place smell new. Um, uh, if there's any cracked equipment, I mean, uh, on vinyl, hire an upholster to come in and reupholster the equipment. Say you're doing a re-grand opening. Um, basically, just say, uh, you know, for grand opening day, everybody could sign up for a buck or whatever the case may be. Make a big deal about it. Uh, grand openings, I used to get them for like 100 bucks. I would call every single food establishment around, tell people, say, hey, this is Anthony with Extreme Fitness. We're having a huge re-grand opening. And we only have a couple vendor tables left. And I was wondering if you want to come down on grand opening day and promote your business with a couple free samples of your food. So I, I would do that with a bunch of food um, vendors. And I basically got the whole place catered for free. You know, they had a table where, you know, they put their banner on and they brought in like trays of like buffalo wings or whatever the case was. Um, those little castle jumper places, you call, if there's a mom and pop castle jumper rental, call them and ask, tell them that you, if they want to come on re-grand opening and put their castle jumper on there with their banner, with their name and number on the side, they're more than welcome. Plus, if they do that, they'll get a lifetime membership at Extreme Fitness. So you pretty much could get a whole grand opening done for almost no money. The only money that I ever spent on a, a re-grand opening was to go to the dollar store to buy like little prizes for the kids when they would verse like trainers in like a push-up contest or a pull-up contest or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I cool. mean that's okay. what I, that's what I would I would do. I would really, you know, if it's under a whole brand new 
you know, management under new ownership, everything's going to be changed. A re-grand opening is a real good way to go around it. You know, you can have a couple months to think of what you want to do, but that that's all it's really needed. Paint on the wall, uh, get an upholstery person on Craigslist to reupholster the equipment that's cracked. And when you do that, by the way, you want them to use heavy bag equipment because if you use heavy bag equipment, it'll never crack ever again. Okay. That was something that, that we learned. Um, and, you know, reupholstered equipment looks brand new. I don't know if right, your right. equipment looks, if you bought your equipment used. We bought all of our equipment used at our last gym, and we just reupholstered everything with the gym colors, and it looked fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You know, it looked like brand new equipment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, and that, that was what we learned. We learned to use heavy bag equipment because, you know, like the arms would be cracked on the preacher curl. The dip machine is, would be cracked. Uh, the, the roller benches were always cracked by the heads because the trainers would go do step up and step downs with their client, which they're not supposed to do with sneakers, and they would crack that. But once we changed over to heavy bag equipment, all of our problems were solved. Nothing cracked in five years. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. All right, so if you need anything else, man, you have my direct number. Please, you know, while you're doing this, if you have any questions, give me a call. I want nothing but the success for your business as a client of ours, and I'm always here for you guys. All right, man, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. You got it, no worries. In about a month, we'll do another one and just see how well everything uh, was going. Okay, okay, perfect. That'd Sound be great. great. All right. Look I'll forward to it. talk to you it. soon. Absolutely. I'll talk to you soon, Joel. You guys, thank you. All right, have All right, a bye-bye. good day. Bye. bye. All right, guys, thank you very much for uh, tuning in to episode three. Uh, Next month, we will continue with Joel and see how well uh, the gym has done with just taking a little bit of those ideas. And let's see if we can get those dues from 4,000, see if we can get those raised up a little bit. All right, guys, have a nice day.